What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now we called a big move in the market yesterday in our live stream as well as some of my videos and XRP is no exception. Now there is more to this than meets the eye. I'm going to break it down for you in this video. Some key metrics you need to be aware of as well as some very curious patterns that look exceptionally bullish for XRP. Just broke 54 cents. It looks like we might be about to break out significantly. Anyway, subscribe to the channel if you like XRP and stay up to date with everything going on in cryptocurrency right now. And let's head on into this article and see exactly what is going on. But here is the start of a 10, the big news for XRP. This, you might be wondering, is the official document that takes the legal case against Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, signed, sealed, and delivered at the bottom here by Judge Annalisa Torres. This fundamentally now confirms the lawsuit against the two individuals, Brad and Chris, has now been dropped. That doesn't mean the overall case is done there is still some more work to do with that but against those individuals you see attorney for defendant brad garlinghouse attorney for defendant ripple labs it has been done it's been sealed and it's been signed off as non moving forward so very good news equally you know it just gives us this sentiment of actually this is about a battle between the sec and has been for over the last two years in which they can't win that's just my view it's been my view now ever since it kind of went into battle in the courts but it's a definite step in the right direction for all xrp holders and certainly one momentum for when it comes to the price but what are we seeing when we talk about xrp what's going on well a lot of people are curious with some of the price action we're getting as well as those charts now like i said there is still a court case going on with xrp but the real volume chart and the real volume chart is very interesting it's given us a potential xrp price rally you might be thinking what's the real volume chart well here it is on the right hand side it gives us the true dollar value of volume starting to run through xrp you can see here where we get some of the news so that was 126 million dollars on october 23rd so coming in yesterday obviously on the back of the news that we got and then equally the move in the overall cryptocurrency market 1.24 trillion at one point a 20 a 35 thousand dollar bitcoin but you can see here we're just seeing some significant volume running through this chart now obviously if we move forward to where we currently sit right now i've had about 20 million go through but obviously we are just in a new day here in the uk but it gives us a definite sentiment what is also interesting is our all-time high versus our crypto our cycle low so back in 2020 we are at 346 percent up on that 329 is the current all-time high at 2018 was when that came in but you can see the volume there 1.05 billion so there's significant volume starting to run through xrp and equally we have this so since judge Annalisa torres declared the programmatic xrp sales did not qualify as security contracts the daily sun jackson counts on the xrp ledger have been on the rise coupled with the surge that xrp price underwent and i've talked about the xrp ledger as it being the fundamental driver of why xrp will be a massive success in the future there is more and more coming they are moving and testing liquidity moves and i think it won't be long until we see financial institutions bear that in mind judge Ali lisa torres declared programmatic xrp sales did not qualify as a security contract and i think that's obviously very very important you can also see here at the time of writing xrp price is a 24 hour gain of 1.77 and traded at the 5272 now that has been destroyed up to the 5456 however we are still within this box remember this 5504 breakout point for xrp is what we need we've seen the market rally we've actually seen bitcoin dominance hitting nearly 57 percent and then about 0.3 down on xrp we are like i said just only half an hour into a new day here in the uk but but what we want to see is this push up on XRP and then the retest at the top end of here and then the bounce to the upside. Now, I truly believe we might even get an ETF given everything going on with Grace, excuse me, with Grayscale and equally BlackRock. Well, if we get that, expect a $1 XRP pretty quickly because it will cement XRP and everything it stands for. And I think the SEC will almost have gone back on their own words. The SEC will almost basically have to give in to the fact that cryptocurrency is here and it's here to stay. We've even seen BlackRock begin to seed the their um, ETF ahead of a potential announcement coming from the SEC. So it cannot be bad. That's my opinion. I think it can be only good news. And I think it is a matter of time until we really start to see a potential big upside move when it comes to XRP, one of which I know we're all excited about. As ever, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.